Isang mapagpalayang hapon sa inyong lahat. Kamusta po kayo? Um, ako'y nagagalak dahil pagpatuloy natin ang ating pagkatuto sa Science 7. Welcome po tayo sa ating itulay online tutorial program. Ayan, so hello, hello. Hello to my students from F. Bangoy National High School and also to other schools all over the country. By the way, for those who did not know me yet, my name is Tutor Rogue at your service. Together with me is Tutor Jen from SDO Davao City and I'm from Francisco Bangoy National High School. And Tutor Jen is from Daniel R. Aguinaldo National High School. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Ayan, so... Simula na natin ang ating pag-aaral. Today, we're going to recognize our mahusay chutis of the week who have gave their output um, last week's episode. So our, ano lang, just to, just to have a, a previous review, our review, we talked about the, what we call this, we talk about our different atmospheric um, phenomena. Ayan. So let's start. So our first chuti is Alriza Zaidenti Gaza. She is from a grade seven M Del Pilar from section. Yes, from section Del Pilar. Her school is Pampanga National High School, Division of San Fernando, Region 3, and her science teacher is teacher Quizia Luis Q. Garcia. Hello, kapapilyedo ko pa. Hello po, ma'am. Congratulations. Together with her is her loving parents, Mr. and Mrs. Gaza. And congratulations, Ariza. Ang cute-cute ng kanyang output kasi gumawa siya ng video presentation telling about the phenomena happening in the atmosphere. Yeah, now let's proceed to the second Mahuse Chuti is Yan, Miss Samantha D. Blasi. A grade 7, section Diamond A. School is from Liano High School, Division of Caloocan, from National Capital Region. And her science teacher is teacher Michael John S. Manikar. Hello, Sir John Michael. Uh, Michael John S. Manikar, mabuhay po kayo kasi napaka-consistent po na bata si Samantha D. Blase. Walang mintis yung kayang pagawa ng output, hindi lamang sa aking subject, kundi sa ibang subjects din. And also, I would like to congratulate her loving parent, Mrs. Rowena Blase. So congratulations, Samantha. You did a very good job in explaining the phenomena happening in our atmosphere. you able to differentiate the sea breeze and the land breeze and also the ITCZ. And also the last but not the least is Mr. Renz Giver J. Calianta. He is a grade 7 learner from section Mark. His school is from Imelda. Integrated Secondary School, Division of Malabon, with the um, National Capital Region. And his science teacher is Ma'am Jaris de la Serna. Hello po, Ma'am Jaris de la Serna, if you're watching. Also, Renz is also a good student. And also, would like to congratulate his parents or guardians, Mr. and Mrs. Kalyanta. Ayan, congratulations. So there you have it, our top three Mahusay Chutis of the week. And I hope that everyone could also participate and could give their outputs next week or this week so that we could able to recognize you and could able to, you know, to present you in our live. Same as the Renz. Alriza and Samantha. Okay, now let's have our attendance. So a while ago, I have seen a lot of comments now. Ayan, so kahit na hindi, sasab uh, kahit hindi ko sasabihin, you already give your full name, you have your section, you have your school, and the name of your science teacher for, it, for them to be recognized. And also, do not forget to share our live session 
now as in now na and three two one and share i hope you already shared our live session for this afternoon through our social media accounts and to your class group chat and of course from your facebook groups and you can also free to tag all your two friends or if you could have all your friends to be tagged then go with that in our comment section and also as we're going to discuss about our very interesting topic for this afternoon, do not forget to bring your module with you. Even though we have different writers, but we have same um, mails. So, yun, same pa rin tayo ng content. And do not forget also your pen and your paper for our quiz later. Ayan. So, congratulations, everyone. Hello, hello. I would like also to... To shout out Mom Jessica Marie Borromeo, one of the exemplary tutors of Itulay in Filipino 7. Hello, sis. Ayan. So I would like also to congratulate our friends, our tutors who have able to, to, uh, to receive awards from third quarter, including me. Ayan. Maraming salamat po sa pagtitiwala bilang excellence in pedagogy. Ayan. So maraming salamat at hindi, hindi ito para sa akin, kundi para po to sa inyo. Ang lahat ng aming parangal ay para sa mga guro at para sa mga estudyante. I would like also to congratulate and to shout out my grade 8 students in front of me. Ayan. So they are they're doing their activities while I am having my online classes. Kasi mahirap na baka mapabayaan ko rin sila. Ayan. So let's proceed. So our topic for this afternoon, for this quarter four, and it's already week five. This is, I think this is would this would be the second to the last topic. Ayan, so medyo emotional ng konte kasi second to the last na. Ayan, and we will have, for the next week will be a week six and for our recognition for our last um, session for our Itulay online tutorial for this quarter. So our topic for this afternoon is the tilting of the earth. Ayan. So ano nga ba tong tilting of the earth? And you were able to, to learn about this as we go along with our journey of this afternoon's topic. Ayan. So let's proceed. By the way, before we proceed, I would like to recognize the writer of this module. She is Mom Cherry Love Maghanoy. And the editor is Mr. or Sir Winston Chavez from the SDO Davao City Division. Hello. And I would like also to shout out the Education Program Supervisors in Science, Ms. Faye Pasamonte in our division. Hello po sa inyong lahat dyan in the division of Davao City. Okay, so our most essential learning competencies for this week, which is week five, is tilt of the earth and the seasons. Ayan, so we were going to learn all of those as we going to, to unveil what would be the tilting of the earth all about. Yeah, ano nga ba ito, sir? Ayan, so I, I know other students have already the idea because their teachers has already discussed already discussed this in advance. So, thank you. And let's proceed to our um, lesson. Okay. Medyo nag-feedback ba ako? Asensya na. Okay, so let's have our learning goals. Our learning goals for this afternoon is the height Okay, the student should learn or understand the height of the sun in the sky to the amount of energy received. Ayan. And the students would understand the latitude of an area. Okay, to the amount of energy received. And the last one is the students would understand the tilt of the earth and the seasons. Okay. Ayan. So, shout out ko ang aking mga students who's watching and also shout out din kay Sir Jeric Santa Santoyo Diaz LPT, our licensed professional teacher. Hello, Sir Jeric. 
ang aking lodi ng MAPE PE, I think. Yes, hello. Congratulations also Sir Jerry for winning the exemplary tutor for the for the third quarter. Yes. Now, before we proceed to our lesson, we will have our pre-test. This pre-test is to test your prior knowledge regarding our topic for this afternoon. So don't be sad if you get wrong because this is just a pre-test. Okay? Okay, so I will read the directions. Read each question carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answers or comment it down. Just like that on the video. Okay, so I will read the question number one. During the day, the sun's rays are most intense. At what time of the day? Okay. So, what time of the day where the sun's rays are very intense? Okay. Hello, Sir Rainier de Jesus. I hope you're okay. You're okay now. I am praying for your good health. Okay. A, dusk. B, dawn. C, noon. D, morning. So, what would be the time of the day where, where the sun's rays are very intense? Okay. Okay, so all of you answered letter C, Kerubin, Richmond, um, Shemari, Galeani, Margaret, JMRK, um, a lot more answered letter C. Let's check if it is letter C. Very good, it's letter C. Congratulations. Wow. Okay, number two, all of the energy from the sun that reaches the earth arrives as solar radiation. Part of a large collection of energy called the electromagnetic radiation spectrum. Solar radiation includes visible light, ultraviolet light, ultraviolet light, infrared, radio waves, X-rays, and gamma rays. Radiation is one way to transfer heat. Some of this heat lost to space due to blank. Yeah, napakataas ng tanong, no? Okay, A, reflection and scattering. B, minimal absorption of the nearby black hole. C, its speed. Or D, gravitational force of the sun. So what's the answer for number two? Okay, sorry kung nag-feedback kasi hindi ko ma-off yung sound ng aking iPad. Um, I think hindi, uh, I don't have the time na to, to check it out, so... I hope hindi siya ano, um, hinder sa inyong pagkatuto ngayon. Okay, for number two, I hope, napaka-active na mga students ngayon. Very good. The correct answer is letter A. Very good. Congratulations, Carlo, Dioso, Adiosa, RK, Jillian, Maria Jessevi, Janet Flood Patan. Hello, Ma'am Janet from Massachusetts. Antonio Xavier, my student. Section the Bigonia in F. Bangoy National High School. Okay, let's go to number three. This refers to a division of the year based on changes in weather, ecology, and the number of daylight hours in a given region. A. Weather dynamics. B. Climate. C. Quartization. Or letter D. Season. Ayan. So speaking of ha, uh, so the later na lang. So what's the answer for number three? Okay, so thank you so much for your active participation. So nauna si Kerubin, followed by Ashley, JM, and then Shemari, Mom Janet also answered letter D. So the correct answer is letter D, season. Okay, speaking of season, yan. So, diba, we have only two seasons here in this country, but the other countries have um, four seasons. So, yun. I think Mom Janet, uh, Mom Janet Flood Patayon could able to, to share her experiences during winter, summer, spring, or fall. Okay. 
I am willing to read your experiences during those seasons. Para ma-share din ng ating mga, para malaman din ng mga sudyante. How does it feel to have a winter place? Okay, number four. As the solar radiation reaches the Earth, it will be absorbed, reflected, or scattered with the presence of clouds. Some of the radiation is absorbed. What particular percentage do clouds absorb? Aha. Oo, oh, galing, no? So, anong percentage kaya ng clouds mag-aabsorb ng solar radiation? Is it A, 20%? B, 50%? C, 70%, or letter D, 100%. Yan. Kerubin answered letter A. Ayan. Shemery answered letter A, 20%. Jillian, A. Vince, Amiel, D. Aguilar, A. Alriza, also A. Aryan, Uzi, A. Almost all of you answered letter A. Samantha also answered letter A. The correct answer, let's check. Very good. It's letter A. Ayan. So I think you you got it right. Ito na. Pang lima na to. This is the last item. Here on earth, we define our day based on A, moon, B, sun, C, stars, D, galaxies. Ayan. So here on earth, we define our day. Magsasabi natin na, oy ano na araw na Next day na naman, what would be the answer? Is it we based on moon, we based in sun, we based in stars, or we based in galaxies? Okay. For number five, the correct answer, almost all of you answered sun. Let's check. Okay, very good. It's letter B, sun. Ayan, hindi talaga mag-mute yung aking isang... Um, <laughs> device okay so congratulations now you can count your scores right now okay and then comment your scores so that i could able to know how many got perfect on our pre-test i hope in our post-test mas mataas or mas mahigitan mo pa ang inyong scores or kung perfect kayo maintain it Ayan, congratulations. Sabi ni JM, yay, hey, you got five points. And also, Mom Janet, say, clap, clap, clap. Okay, very good. Kauri, my students, I have Japanese students, answer, uh, answered, scored five points. Ayan, Josa also, five. And almost all of you, or all of you got five. Ayan, so parang hindi na siguro kailangan yung lecture. Kasi alam nyo naman eh. Diba? Okay, sige. Drama mo naman, sir. Pwede mong mag-ano, katsari. <laughs> okay, sige. Let's proceed. Okay, I want you to observe the following picture. So, ito yung unang picture na gusto kong ipakita. So, any one of you who would like to, to tell or to chat or to comment what is this picture all about? Just one word. Okay, anyone who could guess ano ito, anong scenario to? Okay, sabi ni JM, pagpalubog po ng araw. Mm -hmm. Sabi, sino pa? Maraming salamat. Sabi naman ni Ma'am Janet, it's sunset. Okay, sabi naman ni Aliza, it's sunrise. Okay, so dalawa, may dalawang ano, answers. Sa, sa kanila. Is it sunset or sunrise? So, tingnan natin what's the answer. Okay, this is sunrise. Ayan. Diba? Um, maganda yung sinag ng araw at nakakapag-refresh talaga yung sunrise. Ayan. So, tama yung sagot. It's sunrise. Now, let's proceed to another picture. Yeah, so what's the picture all about? So tell me one word that describes this kind of phenomena. This is a natural phenomena happening. Okay, Aryan Uzi answered sunset. Okay, Richmond also sunset. Carlo, hello Carlo Malonzo, sunset. Tauri, my Japanese student, my half Japanese student, it's sunset. 
John Lloyd, Sunset, Gillian, Sunset. Okay, obviously it is Sunset. Okay, next. Okay, this one, parang ang init, no? Grabe, yung ano niya. Anong kaya ang ano nito? Oras. Sige, anyone who would like to comment on our chat box, what is the, the time of this kind of phenomenon? Yan. Okay, so may mga sagot na. JM answered noon. Okay, noon po. Okay, may nag-answer ng noon time. Okay, noon. Okay, so the correct answer is, okay, very good. It's noon time. Ayan, so this time, no, um, tirik na tirik yung araw. Diba? At saka ayaw kong sa ganitong panahon ng noon time, ayaw na ayaw ko talagang lumabas. Kasi you know, alam yun na, baka mangutin tayo or kailangan tayong gumamit ng payong or sombrero or anything that could protect our body and our faces. And you should also wear your sunglasses. Yan. Next, this one. Yan, parang ano na, parang uuwi na. <laughs> okay, Aliana answered afternoon. So, yes. Ano pa? Um, synonyms ng afternoon when it comes to to phenomena. Sige pa. Yun. Evening. Aliza said takip silim. Kirubin answered dusk. Yan, English. In English lang. Arian is evening. Hello, Nika Cabrales from Santo Lucia High School. Hello, po. Um, yes, Aliza Takip Silim. Carlos, si Silim ng Kapampangan. Ah, okay. May nalaman ako. Ang Takip Silim ng Kapampangan is si Silim. Okay. Sige. Ang tamang sagot ay dusk. Okay, hindi pa siya gabi, not an evening, kasi nakikita nyo pa yung araw. Ang English ng takip silim ay dusk. So, ang Tagalog ng takip silim is, ah, ng Tagalog ng dusk is takip silim. Ayan, so tama kayo. Sa, okay, iba din yung sunset, okay? Iba din yung sunset, iba din yung dusk. Okay, now, among of this four phenomena happening. Okay, you've already described the four pictures. Now, which time of the day you like most? Sa inyo, anong pinakagusto nyo dyan? Is it sunrise, sunset, um, noontime, or dusk? Ayan. Sige nga. Okay. Um, for me, sige, unahin ko ang sarili ko. I want... Ang pinakagusto ko talaga is sunrise because I am a morning person. So um, kahit na late akong natutulog, maaga akong gumigising. And I am really excited to see sunrise, to witness sunrise. And also, I would also love to see or to watch sunset, most especially if nasa beach ka. Ayan. So kayo, ano sa inyo? Okay, so... May nagsabi na dusk, sabi naman ni Renz, sunrise, bago umaga, bago pag-asa. Ayan, okay, may mga ganon, Renz. Okay, um, parang ano lang, yung parang advertisement ng isang product, yung sabi na, kanino ka bumabangon? Yun, lang ganon. Sunrise mo, dahil sumisimulo po ng panibago pag-asa na haharapin natin. Ayan, so ang galing nyo naman, may mga hugot kayo. Alexandra, sabi niya, gusto niya ng sunset. Kirubin, das, kasi yan po ang araw ng uwi ko po galing sa paglalaro. Okay, kasama ang aking mga kaibigan. Ayan. I hope, Kirubin, hindi ka naglalaro pa ngayon sa labas kasi lagana pa po ang pandemya. Oo. Um, Mag-stay lamang po tayo sa ating bahay so hindi po natin ini-encourage ang mga bata na maglaro sa labas this time kasi nasa loob pa tayo ng pandemya. Hayaan nyo at magdasal tayo at masupo natin ang coronavirus so magtulungan po tayo. So bawal muna tayong lumabas 
hanggang hindi pa natapos yung ating pandemya. Kaya nga tayo ay nag-aaral dito sa ating platform which is the e 2 Light Tutorial Program. Ayan, so may nagsabi din ng sunrise. So kadalasan talaga is sunrise. According to Mom Janet, I like sunrise in the winter the most. Wow! I could feel the coldness at the same time the the warmth of the place the there's sunrise at the same time it's winter am i right mom janet okay sabi naman ni john Lloyd diaz it's sunrise and sunset okay whatever you want whatever you like the most important is your go, go on with your life and you are happy learning okay now let's go to our main topic for this afternoon okay um the common the very common element or symbol that you've shown in the picture is the sun right ah, hindi pala siya symbol sorry it's taong ito. um the star a big star which is the sun okay the sun plays important role in the earth right it provides light and warmth. Its motions through our sky cause day and night. The passage of the seasons and the Earth's varied climates. So I highlighted all the important words for you to understand the role of the sun in our in our life. Yes. Okay. So let's meet Mr. Sun. Ayan. Ayan siya. I see Mr. Sun. And as we all know, that sun is the center of the solar system. Ayan. Wherein not only the earth rotates around the sun, but also the other planets. Now, there are terms that we need to learn about it. Okay, we have the perihelion. Okay. If we say perihelion, the earth is nearest to the sun. Okay, again, if we say perihelion, the earth is nearest to the sun. Thank you, Mom Janet, for your appreciation. Next, aphelion, in the other hand, is the opposite of perihelion, which is the earth is farthest to the sun. Ayan. As we all know, we've learned from our elementary days that our earth is following orbits. Ayan. Orbit is an orb, uh, it's an imaginary, okay? It's an imaginary guide for not to, um, tawag nito, for not to, to be guided, that our planets are, are guided rotating around the, the sun. Yeah. So again, perihelion is when the earth is nearest to the sun and aphelion if the earth is farthest to the sun. Okay. So now, let's talk about the different months of happening, what will be the tilting of the earth that affects the climate of the earth. Okay, now here in the figure B, earth in June, this is the position. Okay, let me use a, high, a highlighter. Okay, yeah. So here, observe that the earth leans by 23.5 degrees. So this is the Earth axis. Okay, the Earth axis is 23.5 degrees. Okay, and the North Pole is leaning toward the Sun in June. Yeah, so the North Pole, where is the North Pole? This is the North Pole and this is the South Pole. Okay, so look at, it's leaning toward the sun. So it is exposed to the sun. The northern hemisphere, this one, this place, okay, is heat directly by the sun rays. Ha? 
when it happens, okay, when it happens, this is the, okay, sorry, this is, yeah, okay. When it happens, the areas receiving it will become warmy, warmer compared to places when the rays are oblique or slanted. So look at, so it's very exposed to the sun, while on the southern hemisphere, it is winter. It explains why the northern hemisphere is experiencing summer at this time. Anong month? Month of June. Yeah. So next month, um, all countries belongs to the northern hemisphere, most especially in Arctic Circle to Trophic Circle. Ayan. These countries experiencing summer. And according to what I have seen some videos, ang araw ay hindi, ano, ang araw ay hindi, walang sunset, puro sunrise. Ayan. So, on that country. Pero, on the opposite side naman, ano, wal, hindi, walang sinag ng araw and it's winter. Next, how about in December? Yan. So, sa December naman, this is how the tilting of the earth happens. So, the northern hemisphere is leaning away okay, from the sun, while the southern hemisphere is directly exposed to the sun's rays as shown by the arrow. So, therefore, um, by the month of December, the southern hemisphere, yeah, here, experiencing summer <laughs> while on the northern hemisphere experiencing winter ayan so nagkapalit the north pole is pointing away from the sun in figure c and you will no longer receive direct rays or sun rays it will have a colder temperature in the northern hemisphere all areas located in the northern hemisphere will experience the winter season by the month of December. Ayan. Now, let's talk about the Earth's orbit and the height of the sun. Okay. So as we all know, this is the imaginary orbit. Okay. And the orbit of the the orbit of the solar system is not circle, but it's elliptical. That's why there is aphelion and perihelion because our orbit is elliptical. Hindi siya perfect circle. So now, when the sun rays hit the ground at 90 degrees, they will receive a large amount of solar energy. Okay. It is because the heat is being focused only on one area. It will result in more heat absorbed by the surface of the earth. When the sun rays are at an oblique angle, okay, I highlighted the oblique angle, the ground will only receive a less amount of solar energy or sun rays. Why? Because... The distribution of solar energy is unconcentrated on the area it exposes. So look at the picture. You could able to distinguish the slanted or the oblique angle of the earth and we're in the sun exposed on this part or the earth exposed from the heat of the sun while the other side of the of the earth experiencing winter on that on on that day or on that season okay so different areas so take note that different areas will have different angles of sun rays because of the actual tilt of the earth so that's how important tilting of the earth and tilting of dirt is a natural ano ha, it's a natural phenomena Hindi yan siya yung man-made, okay? Yun talaga, natural siya. No question. Parang, yun talaga yung, ano niya, yung degrees, 23.5 degrees. And 
the tilt of the earth is in an oblique angle. Okay, now, let's go to the different angles of the sun in varied regions. So, so sir, nagadepende pala yung seasons depends on the angle of the sun. Yes. Diba, we've learned the different regions of the earth this, this quarter. We've learned about the Arctic Circle, the Tropic Cancer, the Equator, the Tropic of Capricorn, the Antarctic Circle, and the South Pole. Now, these regions has respected have respected angles. Okay, we have an Arctic Circle. I'm um, sorry again. North Pole, twenty three point five degrees. Arctic Circle has forty six point five degrees. A tropical Cancer is ninety degrees. Equator is sixty six point five degrees. Antarctic Circle is. Uh, sorry, Tropic of Capricorn is 43 degrees. Antarctic Circle is 0 degree. Okay. The area near the sun or the Tropic Cancer ayan, will receive a large amount of heat energy from the sun. It means that this place will be hotter compared to other areas. Notice that the South Pole, okay, the South Pole here, follow the highlight. Uh, the highlighter does not receive okay look at does not receive any sunlight at all it means that the south pole will have no daylight and not receive any heat okay thus it will have a winter season there are times also that the northern and southern hemisphere will receive equal amounts of sunlight ayan meron din din naman na ang North at saka ang South Pole has received equal amount of sunlight. And that's what we call equinox. Ayan. Okay. Let's proceed. Okay. Now, let's talk about the latitude and energy. Okay. Latitude is also part of the factors where we could able to experience different systems and weather conditions. We have latitude is the measurement of distance of north or south of the equator. Okay. The equator is an imaginary line of zero degrees latitude which surrounds the center of the earth. It is where the sun directly exposes surface of the earth at an angle of 90 degrees. Areas located on the equator or near the equator received higher amounts of solar energy, thus experiencing hotter temperatures. So, in the Philippines, so, lalayo pa ba tayo? So, our, the best example is our country. Um, Philippines is just above the equator. So, we are near the equator. So, that's why we receive um, higher amount of solar energy. The farther it gets, gets from the equator, the colder it gets. So therefore, yung mga countries na malayo sa equator, sila yung um, experiencing colder temperature compared to us. Yan. Okay. Let's proceed. So, tilt of the earth and this is suns. Ayan, so... As the Earth revolves around Sun, it becomes closer or farther away from the Sun. It means that certain parts of the Earth will not receive the same amount of solar energy. So you have to take note of that. That if the Earth, um, if the Earth is far away from the Sun, it means that it has a lesser amount of solar energy or sun rays received. Okay. And then in a year, the Earth will be facing the sun with an equal amount of daylight. And again, these are called equinox. Equinoxes, which has two seasons, the spring and the autumn. Okay. Um, I would like to share before, when I went to Korea, we went during springtime. So, 
maganda siya. Um, hindi siya masyadong mainit. Hindi din siya malamig. So katamtaman na yung klima. At ramdam na ramdam mo rin yung lamig at saka init at the same time. At saka maraming bulaklak at fresco ang hangin during those days. Okay. The earth also leans toward away from the sun. These are called solstices. And those were summer and winter season. Ayan. So we have equinoxes, which is equal po yung distribution ng daylight, and that's spring and autumn seasons. While if the earth also leans toward toward and away from the sun, these are called summer and winter season. And to generalize, it's called solstices. Okay, so that's the ano, that's the the summary of our topic. Now let's proceed to our assessment. So this time I hope that you will able to get um good scores since all of you got perfect in our pretest. I hope that this assessment also you will receive perfect scores. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? I please type ready if you are ready. Okay, thank you so much for keep watching for for sharing our live tutorial program this afternoon. Ayan, I hope you are all ready. Yan ready ni si Sam, si JM. So just take note that um the tilting of the earth um one of the factors where there is seasons and weather conditions because of the tilting of the earth. Ayan. So now let's proceed. Okay. Same directions. What am I sagot na? Okay. Hindi ko na edit. Okay. So what angle is the earth tilted? Ayan. So it's Letter C, 23.5 degrees. Nako, napaperfect talaga kayo dito kasi may sagot na bigla. Okay, what do direct rays mean? Eh, basahin ko na lang ha. The rays of the sun hit the earth's surface of 40 degrees angle. Or letter B, the rays of the sun hit the earth's surface at 60 degrees angle. And let her see the rays of the sun hit the Earth's surface at 90 degrees angle. Or let her D, the, the, the rays of the sun hit the Earth's surface at 30 degrees angle. So the correct answer is 90 degrees angle. That we could say that there is a direct sun rays. Okay. Okay, this time, wala na talagang, parang bonus na lang yon. <laughs> okay, sige. Ito, number three, which of the following causes the Earth's four seasons? Ayan. A, the amount of energy released by the sun. B, Earth's actual tilt rate rotation relative to Earth's revolution around the sun. C, Earth's orbit around the sun. Or letter D, Earth's 24-hour rotation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's check your answers. Okay, Kerubin B, Richmond, Shia Marie, Richmond, RK, Mom Janet, Richmond, Sav, Jisavi, Sophia. Hello, Sophia from Section Waling Waling. Kauri. Okay, all of your answers, letter B. Let's check if it is correct. Okay, very good. Galing. It's letter B. Okay. Ayan, parang you have to comment your scores now. Okay, parang one point lang yung ano nyo ha. Pero sige lang, i-add nyo na lang yung bonus para meron kayong three points. Ayan. So thank you so much. Kindly comment your scores now and how much you gain 
in our lessons for this ano for this lesson okay pa how much talaga no or what is your score rather what is your score for today's lesson okay so let's see Kerubin 3, Sophia 3, Xavier 3, RK. Hello, RK. Kabuhat 3. Richmond, you total. Yes, very good, Richmond. You total the, the pre-test and the assessment to make it 8 points. Very good. Yes. Josa 3, Kauri 3. Ayan. Sabi ni Ma'am Janeline Domingo Antonio, happy to inform you, Sir Roger, that 13 of my students were participating to your tutorial. Wow! Thank you so much, Ma'am Jeneline Antonio. Can you tell me what school you're, you are from so that I could shout out your school and also your principal? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your participation of your students. I hope you could able to share a lot of grade 7 learners as we go along with our journey because next week will be our last topic and for the next, next week will be our recognition. And I am very excited for our recognition because I invited a very special guest. I'm very special, a very, a very good a friend of mine. And she will, she or he, because hindi ko pa no gender reveal, she will going to inspire you about her experiences. Ayan. Thank you so much. Ayan. Congratulations. Hello, Ashley from grade 7, Begonia of F. Bangoy. Ayan. Now, let's go to our science quote of the week. And I am very excited of this um, <laughs> of this uh, segment. Ayan. Pang segment. Okay, so let me read. Rest but never quit. Even the sun has a sinking spell each evening, but it always rises the next morning. At sunrise, every soul is born again. That's according to Muhammad Ali. Ayan. So this quote is really um, inspiring. I know that we are very tired working, schooling, most especially this time of pandemic, this kind of platform. Um, Nakaka-init din, nakaka-bored, at pagod na rin kayo sa trabaho at pag-aaral. But always remember that you should never quit, but you could rest. Kahit sa ang mang um, paraan, you can rest. But never quit. Sabi nga nila, kahit nga si Mr. Sun nagpapahinga during the big, diba? how much more tayong mga tao. But always remember to get up yourself, okay? to rise, to rise up. And every rise is another you, yeah? another newborn. Parang, ah, this is me, this is another me. I've already rested, now I am already born again. Yeah. So always remember, think of those positivity. Yes, nahihirapan tayo in everything in life, but you should never quit because quitter never wins. Always remember. Kahit na kayo ay inaapi-api, kung inaapi man kayo, o kahit na kayo ay nahihirapan sa lesson, most especially, pag mahirap na uh, mathematics, yun naman yung mga mahirap na mga subjects, di ba? Physics, statistics, lahat-lahat. Just don't forget to rest. Kasi napapagod din yung utak niyo. But never quit. And, and pagka tomorrow niyan, you will say, na, ah, this is another me and it's another, ano, uh, a newborn. <laughs> Once again, I am a new, ano, I am... Tawang nito, I am yung, I am renewed, kumbaga. Ayan. So, thank you so much kayo. I would like to hear your 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 sharing about this code so that I could able to read. Ayan. So, you can have your your own um, 
realization about this code. You can screenshot and post it to our wall, into your wall, so, so that your classmates will be inspired as well. Ang lahat naman ito ay para sa inyo at para sa mga sudyante at para sa mga guro. Okay. Sabi nga ni Renz Giver, para kanino ka bumabangon? Ako, kung tatanungin niyo ako, para kanino ko bumabangon ay para sa aking pamilya. Ayan. Okay, maraming salamat at para sa pangarap, sabi ni Renz Giver. Ayan, thank you so much for all the students who are always supporting me, teachers, hello po, and also schools, principals, deaf ed, supervisors, maraming salamat. 